Hello! In this video, we'll see how to create metrics and filters in our application and process mining, so that we can analyze the number, the percentage and cost amount for a specified category. In the last videos, we focused more on process graphs, but this is not the only interesting resource in process mining, since we have other types of graphs that helps us to have a more detailed view of the process. So let's go to the workflow. I'm here in my process mining application, and the first thing we have to do is create a joint table with only the unique records per case ID. For that, we'll create an expression that will return to us these unique records. So, I go here to the expressions folder inside a case events input table and create my expression. Okay, my expression is created, and with it, I can finally create my join table. For that, I go here and create, click new table group. I'll call it view tables. And inside it, I'll create a new join table with the name cases. Now I have to edit its expression so that the correct values will appear here using the expression I just created. Okay. Our join table is here, finally populated, and the last thing we have to do is to make all attributes related to the events hidden, so that they will not appear in this new table. So I go here in the events folder and set them all to hidden. Perfect and also here in the generic cases and generic events. Okay, now they are all hidden. Okay, with this done, we have to create the selector that will allow us to select which attribute we want to see in our graph. For that, I'm going to create a new folder here in the cases join table. I'll call it filters and here I'll create our selector. Okay, the selector is created. Now we have to create a filter that will enable us to select which metric will be used in the analysis. But first, we have to create these metrics. They will be the number of cases, the percentage of cases, and the cost amount. Okay, now the three metrics were created. 
Now we can finally create our metric filter. And now we can finally create our new dashboard. Now we can clearly see the details for each amount, each case owner, each type of invoice, each supplier, and each supplier type, along with the respective metrics, the number of cases, the percentage of cases, and the case amount. With this, we have a more detailed view of some parts of the process. With this, we're going to wrap up. Feel free to share this video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time!